Another thing that you're going to notice with this system is that the viewing angle is, uh, you can see how much different it is, how much poorer it is. It's a lot easier to see the Innovex system. Another thing that is significant is the brightness. Take a look at the two displays and you can see how much brighter it is. Nighton has a, a, a better battery life, but part of the reason that they have a better battery life is that their display is running about half the visibility that ours does. The size is, is, is quite a lot bigger. I mean, when you look at this thing, it's twice as wide. Well, I don't know, 50% wider that way. You can see from the top that ours is a little bit longer, yeah, um, but, but definitely much wider, and the, and the shape is quite a bit stubbier. The handle, the handle is much bigger to get a hold of. We are able to radiate heat primarily through this piece of metal up here, but also from the snout. And if you look at the amount of exposed metal on our snout versus theirs, ours is longer on the top, okay, it's longer on the bottom, and it's got a lot more uh, uh, surface area to let the heat out with. Um, we also have all this area here that is directly tied into the heat sinking is preferential so the 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 heat sinking on this it's really a lot of plastic and uh, the, the mass in their system really comes from the battery whereas in our system we're working with a smaller battery and a hot swap but we have uh, put quite a bit of metal in uh, the interlocking rubber overlay uh, which we can do a nice job with because we do a good job getting rid of the heat uh, heat just not only hot samples, but ambient temperature um, and lifetime of components, it's going to matter for that. Works pretty well like that, too. So it's just a, it must be a geometry thing that when I get, when I get a little higher, now this is really high, definitely won't work from here. Yeah, the Niobium's reading about 0.9, the uh, Molly is reading 0.8, the, it's about double the actual value. We take our instrument, set it on here, do a quick test. I'll run this about three seconds and stop it. We've got niobium at 0.67, molly at 0.31. I'm going to take it, run it about the same height as I had. This is the, the nighttime unit worked pretty well at this height. Um, we've got about the same thing, 0.6 on the niobium, 0.34 on the molly. Now I'm going to put this thing up really high. Gonna run my test another time. One of the things that I notice is the shape of the Niton unit. Yeah, Molly's about 0.38, Niobium's 0.65. It's a good reading. And literally, you can get on the sample like this, pull the trigger, and tip it off and on and off and on and off and on. And as long as you stay within that about an inch or two centimeter range, we get good numbers. I believe the reason that it works better on our system is the size of the window. Um, that we can, we can be off the sample if it's hot or vibrating, or if there's some reason that you can't get in contact with it and do a better sample. The other thing that I notice is when I use the, the Niton, there is no center line on the top. They have an aiming line on the side, but they don't have one on the top. And it's actually the first couple times I did this, I wasn't lined up over the sample because it, the, the point kind of disappears when you get perpendicular to the ground. You can't really see it anymore. And the balance is just not there. Our system really holds itself in place. This one doesn't. There's just no standing it up here. It doesn't want to. It has to sit down. You have to hold it in place. Another thing ergonomically is this rubber 
bumper right there. If you're doing hot samples, this, this melts or burns right off. They recommend that you remove it, but it's actually glued on. If you take this off, it's, it's glued on under there. So hot sampling, this is a built-in problem for it. It's interesting that that's still on there. It's an artifact of an isotope system. This handle is big to hold on to. It's in the ergonomics of the handle are poor compared to this system. You can see that my fingers overlap right there up by the grip. I've got my thumb about like that. When I'm on this one, you can see that it's it's almost that much. It's almost the, the length of my nail different to get a hold of it there. It's that much bigger around. The battery life costs them in terms of balance and also the ergonomics. The handle is very thick. The packaging is really not very sleek. It's a lot of halfway steps. The rubber bumper here is something that is really an easy thing to, to throw, throw dirt at when you're talking to um, people that are doing uh, plant PMI.